Ethereum Classic, a lot of people are saying it has had an irrational price tripling over the last couple of days. If you're looking at the price of Ethereum Classic, it's not just tripled. The price has gone up so much over the last couple of months that it is absolutely insane, up over 700% in the last couple of months. If you look at it a month ago, oh, just about a month ago, it was about it was in the 10 to $20 per coin range. Now it is well above $100 per coin. And according to analysts, they're saying that this this is just very, um, very similar to what is going on with Dogecoin's frenzy. They're saying that right now, seeing what's happening with Ethereum Classic, there isn't really any any fundamentals behind it. They're saying Ethereum Classic isn't really a potential Ethereum killer. They're saying that they think a lot of what's going on with it is just a lot of people who are investing in Dogecoin are looking for an Ethereum alternative. And now that they're seeing that Ethereum Classic has been you know, doubling basically every single day, they're wanting to get in on that as well. Right now, if you're looking at Ethereum Classic, its market cap is sitting right around $13.6 billion. It's in the top 20 of all cryptos out there. If you're a Dogecoin investor, Dogecoin has gone from, you know, one of the smallest cryptos to now being number four in terms of market cap. And people are thinking that Ethereum Classic can do the same exact thing. However, there are a couple things to keep in mind with Ethereum Classic right now. And that is that according to Joshua Frank, co-founder and CEO of crypto data firm called The Tie, he says that he thinks a lot of the interest is right now in Ethereum Classic is from people who invested in Dogecoin. He says, I think a lot of the interest has to do with the fact that Dogecoin has moved so much. It has made people millionaires in just a matter of days. And he says, now the US retail investors are looking for the next big asset. He says, it's a crazy, irrational market right now. And people are just looking for anything, any sign of like the next um, massive like bull run. It's the exact same thing that happened with GameStop. People he said, are looking to double, triple their money in the matter of days rather than, you know, looking for a consistent long-term investment. They're looking for the next big thing so they can instantly be rewarded. And he's saying that he doesn't think this is driven at all by institutional investors. He explained how if institutions were behind the move, you probably wouldn't see these drastic price differences among different platforms. He's saying that, you know, if you look on Coinbase versus if you look on Robinhood versus if you look on another platform, the price differences in Ethereum Classic are pretty big. Like you might see it on one platform at $115 per coin. On another platform, it may be at $95 per coin. And while this is something that we do see in the crypto world because they are decentralized, um, the thing to remember is that you don't usually see that big of price differences. And he says really the main reason is... um, one of the big things is, is we wouldn't see such large of a spread between major exchanges if it was driven by, you know, institutional investors. He says, so obviously this is coming from the retail investors, people who were most likely invested in Dogecoin, maybe made a lot of money, want to diversify a bit and are looking for the next big thing. Right now, according to analysts, they're saying we're in phase two to three of the altcoin and altcoin bull run and crypto bull run in general. They're saying right now, we're seeing phase one is with Bitcoin, seeing a massive inflow of capital into Bitcoin. Bitcoin first driving the rally. Second phase is with Ethereum. And then the third is with large caps and fourth is with altcoins. So they're saying right now, we're seeing still seeing a massive frenzy with Ethereum. People are not wanting to miss out on that. In addition to that, we're starting to see a shift from Ethereum looking for other assets, looking for other cryptos out there. And that's what we're seeing. And that's why we're seeing people look towards Ethereum Classic. They're looking for an Ethereum alternative that is cheaper. They're looking for an alternative to Dogecoin that hasn't gone up thousands of percentage points already. So that is why people are looking at Ethereum Classic. If you're looking at in terms of fundamental values, they're saying it's just not there for Ethereum Classic. You know, there's a reason why Ethereum and Ethereum Classic split back in 2017 over that massive issue with the hack and what went on there. So there's, there's an issue. There's a reason why that happened. And really, Ethereum Classic doesn't have the potential to overtake Ethereum long term. But in the short term, It could make people a lot of money because of this massive bull run we're seeing and people just looking for the next big thing, the next sort of Dogecoin. 